What's up y'all, it's Marion. Welcome to the first video on how to start over. Um, normally I have the uh, white screen, uh, but today I wanted to uh, just share some things with you and it's gonna be very, very, very discombobulated. I wanna warn you um, because so many things that you need to survive, they're simple, but they interweave. Like they have to be multifunctional in order to work. So um, I want to share with you, share this with you. Listen, no matter what you're going through, God loves you. God did not create you to struggle forever. And I know that sometimes the struggle may seem endless, but God won't leave you. He has not left you. Just because you're going through, it's not over. You will make it. So I uh, wanted to put that, put it out there like that. Um, this scenario that we talked about about losing your job and being evicted from your home is one that happened to me. I was working for a ministry and I began to disagree with the direction that that ministry was working for, that that ministry was headed. Um, and as a result, I lost my job. And as a result of losing my job, I lost the person I was married to then and um, lost everything. So I had to start over, um, and I want to show you some things that um, that you can do um, when you need to start over. Um, this kind of went, I went through a lot of hurt and pain to learn this stuff hard, the hard way, um, and I think that this will help out somebody so that they don't have to go through um, trying to answer questions on their own. So there are six things that you need. Um, five are absolute mandatory, and number six is... Um, depending on your situation. Number one, everybody needs a form of shelter, a place to sleep, a place to get out of the elements. You need food to eat, food and water, and a way to process food and water, cook or purify food, food and water. You need a way to um, have hygiene and laundry. Um, laundry is not a luxury because to be able to get some resources, you do have to keep a certain image. Um, it's hard, but it is doable, and I'm gonna show you how. Number four, um, you gotta have a way to um, to get around. Number four, you gotta get around. Um, there's two ways that I'm gonna show you specifically that cost not only the least money, but will handle your need for shelter too. How to get around. Five. Um, again, where to shower. So, y'all yeah, know where you're gonna sleep, what and where you're gonna eat, what you're gonna wear um, for the elements, how you're gonna get around, how you're gonna handle hygiene, and number six is communication. Um, being able to communicate with potential jobs or a support system for as little as possible. Uh, in this one video, I'm going to try to take you through all five, but if I can't, then this will get broken up. Um, I did this in such a way, so if people wanted to find a way to download, this is free to download. Um, you know, use software to download this video if it's going to help you. Um, we're going to start talking about, like, shelter and what to wear. What to wear is not about fashion. What to wear is knowing that you're going to be outside or that you're going to be going between modes of transportation a lot um, this is what I person this is how I what I personally wear and like how I personally live like I'm not some guy sitting in some suburban area um, saying I'm some survival expert like I've lived like this for the last five years and this is how you do it um, layers are everything um, there's three stores, three to four stores that, like, I get everything from. Um, and I basically, um, you got to think about layers. Um, layers are everything. You need an outside layer to get rid of water. And you need an insulating layer to trap in heat. And the more of those layers that you have, the better. For my outside layer, this is just... A run-of-the-mill, just black um, 
They call it polypropylene, but it's just a rain jacket. This rain jacket cost me nothing because someone gifted it to me. Um, but you can find a similar rain jacket at the Goodwill. My first rain jacket I found, I found for like $2 at the Goodwill. And it was the same stuff. This just is a name brand. Under that, or sometimes I use it as a top layer. This is just a camo hunting jacket. It doesn't have to be camo, but it does have to be something that sheds water and something that's thick. Um, you can find a hunting jacket like this at a Goodwill for anywhere between five to 12 bucks. I just picked up a cashmere and wool um, jacket for like 12 to 15 bucks. It doesn't have to be camo. I'm just a hunter. So I tend to lean the few clothes that I do have in um, earth tone or camo colors. For, oh, I'm on my hat. For a top layer, for a top layer, I wear a, and it's sitting right here, I wear a long sleeve cotton. And then I wear a short sleeve cotton t-shirt under there. So that's layer number one. I'm skipping a layer. Um, and then there's, I use a polypropylene base layer. Now these are like long johns on steroids. Um, I get these from the military surplus store. Um, they're, they're, they don't insulate like wool. I would prefer to have wool. But when you're on a budget, you can get some of these. From the, from the military surplus store, $5 a piece, get them ripped up, get the ones with the holes in them, because you can, you can learn how to sew these shut. Get them as cheap as possible. If they ripped up, that's okay. Um, you want people's trash. That's, that's, that's one point. You want trash, because if it's trash, you can repurpose it for much less money. So, underwear is obligatory. You, you understand. Socks. I also have an Arctic pair of wool socks. Um, this cotton pair goes on the bottom. This wool pair goes on top of that. They go inside my boot. Uh, my muck boots, which you don't have to have muck. You just want to have a good rugged, uh, you know, rugged pair of boots that once you put clothes on, they still work. You know, and then just a rugged pair of canvas pants. So, as far as layers go, with this, I've been outside in, in St. Louis and Eastern Illinois weather, and it works. You know, it works. Uh, as far as outerwear, we got the coat, we got the outerwear. Um, I have a military surplus 100% wool hat, 100% wool glove liners. And I have several sets of jersey and cotton gloves that I wear. Though this right here, this right here can fit in a pack. Um, and alongside that I have a earth tone colored cotton uh, dry towel, cotton face towel uh, for personal hygiene and fire starting if ever need be. But that right there um, plus what I would be wearing that day um, is more than enough to cover weather now on top of that in your pack you always want to be ready to present yourself for a for a job interview or a chance to go work and make money uh, I am a musician that works on donations um, I, I work on donations in different places and so when I'm out and about I wear that and then I have a backup set of of shoes and then I have a, ba I have a backup set that's like your job interview set you just keep that on you and you just try to keep your best to keep that clean and wrapped up in a trash wrapped up in a trash bag folded up very well um, so that if you get called on a job interview or whatever, it's all in your pack. So 
Um, you know, you got your dress set up. You got that set up. That's your extra pair. And then you have whatever's on your body that's a duplicate of that. There's something I forgot. Um, you got to think all weather. I used to carry umbrellas um, until I think Dave Canterbury hit me to... Um, hit me to wide brim hats um, this wide brim hat I got at uh, I think at a Bass Pro or something for like 30 something bucks when I was working um, it's it's cool because it keeps you from having to carry an umbrella I've been in rain and if your layers are right you can walk and you can keep going you can walk you can bike or whatever and in the rain, if you have something like this on and then you had a proper, um, like, polypropylene or plastic uh, windbreaker type thing, you won't get wet. So, so that covers um, what to wear, um, what's going to keep you warm outside. Again, the places that I will search for, I will always stay local, try to stay local, support local business. Uh, because if people know what you're going through at these spots, um, what you'll find is that God will bless you. you you'll go somewhere on limited budget and people will read you and, and see it in your face. And sometimes good comes to you. If, if good comes to you, you know, you'll go and there was a time where um, I had a piece of gear, um, the pack that I'm going to show you about carrying your clothes in. I only had the, I only had thirty bucks, and I had to buy this pack, and I got blessed with other gear, just because the guy was like, I don't want you to spend all the rest of your money, but that was my last dime. That was like literally the rest of my money. So, so that's clothing. Now let's talk about real quick a basic pack. Um, it, it doesn't matter. It's about your environment. Um, can this thing clo hold your clothes? Can it hold what you need it to um, within the budget that you have? Now, for me, I'm going to always have more tools and more layers than I have stuff. Even if I got to survive three months with very little money on me, if I have the tools on me that I need, I can get the resources like God will provide the other resources. So um, so the pack that I got to fit in this um, range, I spent the majority on of money on my pack. There's two packs that I use. This one here is a CFP90 patrol pack. It is the smaller, um, it is the smaller um, cousin to the patrol the rucksack that they have and now I have that as well but this cost me $30 and what the guy at the military surplus did for me was he saw that I was spending the last of my little money and he threw in straps to fix my larger pack and a little um, 9 millimeter magazine case I take every blessing and that keeps my vice grip multi-tool which I use to anything from pulling pots from the fire or or getting bolts off my bicycle or anything um, other than that that's it I'm gonna stop right there alright so basically that covers what to wear and what to carry your clothes in um, one more thing when you get your clothes together and you've picked out what's gonna work for the weather in your area grab either a contractor's bag or a bunch of grocery slash garbage bags and stuff them in your pack and stuff your clothes in them because this pack and most book bags that you have if you don't already have one is all is not waterproof so if you stick your clothes fold your clothes up very very tightly um, and I, now I'll show you that now. I'm going to show you that now. There's a way to fold your clothes where it takes up less space. Um, there's a way to fold your clothes where it takes up less space. So say this one outfit, okay?
okay? And and some of this is stuff is is, is kind of kind of dirty. I kind of been in the rain. Um, you basically take your pants, take your pants, base layer. base layer, underwear laid out, socks laid out, and I'm doing this real, real, real quick, because YouTube has some time limits on me, t-shirt laid out, long sleeve laid out, and you just roll this up as tightly as possible. Roll it up as tightly as possible. In my case, because I'm a medium sized guy, that gives me that roll. It would have been much smaller if I would have taken the time and really, 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 really squeezed it. But that can fit in my pack. That little pack, very, very easy. Because you don't want to have too much clothing. You want to have clothing on top that you wear, like what you got on, and then you want to have a set in your pack. That's it. If you got that, you have enough clothing. Because when we start talking about shelter, one of your shelter options is going to be a spot that's going to not require that you have to have a bunch of clothes. So start there. Get your wool, focus on layers. I would say focus on things that shed water so that if you're in rain or in snow, um, you're good. Now, I want to serve this as a reminder to you. Don't worry about the weather so much that it scares you because you're not going to be outside in the cold often with some of the things I'm going to show you if the resources are there. Okay, but there's there's but you just want to be ready just in case you're waiting on a bus, you're waiting on a train, you're waiting on something to open up, you gotta get to a store early according to your schedule. You just want to be dressed right. But don't worry, you won't have to be in the cold cold if the resources in your area um supply. God got you. God got you. Okay, God will do it. I love y'all. There's so much that I want to talk about. But I need to split this up in a few videos. Um, we'll talk about our next element of the five uh, in just a little bit. Love y'all.